what's going on guys uh, I got another mask to show you here um, it's another mask from Distortions Unlimited uh, it's a really cool mask that I've wanted for quite a while and uh, a guy was selling one one of the Facebook groups and I just couldn't pass up the deal this is the Andromeda Resurrection mask I don't know if uh, I don't know exactly who sculpted this. I don't know if this was Ed or somebody else the Distortion team that sculpted did this one. But this is a, the Andromeda Resurrection. Uh, it's kind of based off the original Andromeda design, but it's done a little differently. Um, this is a mass-produced mask. They did make a limited run of you know hand uh, hand pulled, hand painted uh, copies with the same design and uh, both Ed and Jordy Shell worked on them and painted them up and signed it signed those those were limited uh, my buddy Simon Mohan here on you YouTube um, he has one of these but he has one of the hand hand uh, hand made hand painted ones signed by Jordy Shell and Ed um, very cool I'll actually leave a link in the description to that video so if you guys want to see a really good version of this but this is the mash produced version here. I'm very happy with this. I like this. I've wanted this one for a while. If you're actually looking for this mask, be careful because you can go on eBay. You can find a stock photo of this, and they'll be like, they'll be for sale. You know, they'll say they have like 10 or 15 of them in stock. You know, say you know, it's from Distortions Unlimited. They'll show a stock photo, but then the mask you get won't, won't be this. It'll be, I believe, uh, Rubies. They may have sold the, this design to Rubies. A different company makes it, and you'll order it, and it won't be Distortions Mask. It'll be the same design, but it'll be less quality and different. So just kind of watch if you guys look on eBay for one of these. But this is a Distortions, uh, Distortions Unlimited Original. It says right there. I don't know how well it'll show up. But yeah, Distortions Unlimited. It says Distortions Unlimited 2004. And then this one actually is still tagged. Still has the distortions tag on it. But on the tag it actually says uh, Andromeda Classic. This sells like some care. It says this blood curdling, gut wrenching, state of the art product represents many grueling hours of design, sculpting, casting, and refining in its fabrication. Do not get the product wet. Avoid excessive sunlight, stored plastic bag. Don't turn out the lights. 2008 Distortions Unlimited. All rights reserved. So it says 2008 on the tag. So that's probably when this one was produced. It was sculpted in 2004. Um, I don't. Again, I don't know if it was Ed Edmonds or who actually sculpted the uh, this resurrection mask. Very cool though. It's wearable. Just slip the back. Again, it's still tagged. I'm gonna leave the tag on it because I like these old Distortions tags. It was cool. Um, really cool design. I like this one. Inside, let me take this out. These are what I uh, display my masks on. If anybody's wondering, I get these from my my job. They're really thick cardboard tubes. Um, I get them that are about this long, and I just cut them, cut them up uh, according to however, whatever size I need for my masks. But it's cardboard. But these are really uh, really thick. Like I couldn't bend this. I couldn't with both hands. I couldn't bend this if I wanted to. These are really thick, really sturdy, strong. I mean, you can set this down and stand on top of it, and it won't won't buckle or break so they work really well I cut them however I need them and uh, you know, stuff the masks and then set them on top and they, they hold the mask really well they're really sturdy and that's what I use them to display them anyway yeah so the distortions unlimited resurrection mask very cool design again it's still uh, a sim it's still a sim similar design to the original uh, Andromeda that Ed sculpted and similar to the last Andromeda up there it still has kind of the vented guild face and lower mouth or whatever. This one is wearable. Uh, you can't wear it, you can't breathe out of it. Eye holes up there. One of the cool things about this though, for being a mass produced mask, the top of the head is really solid. They put an insert into the head so the head doesn't cave in, so it holds its shape. It's like a um, I don't even know how to describe it. I've seen koozies made out of it. It's like a, a real spongy, thick foam, and it's like wrapped in a in like a shiny sealant plastic kind of. 
and it's shaped like the ins like you know shaped like the mask could be and then so it keeps it shaped like that and then the inside kind of has a curve too to fit the top of your head so when you do wear this it'll keep your face right here where you need to see out of and all this will still be solid and won't like you know cave in and be floppy see it's kind of you squeeze it and it goes right back into shape you know it's solid because that foam in there it's a really cool really cool design the way they did that um, i've liked this one i've always wanted it for a while again it's been been around since the early 2000s early to mid 2000s but it's very cool again there's a lot of i don't know if they're knockoffs i don't know if distortion sold the the mold off to another company but there's kind of a lot of knockoffs online so be careful it's a good size mask not as big as the uh last andromeda it's not as big as that mask and again it's a lot thinner it's a mass produced mass produced copy but still very very cool still has the tag on it got it for an, an amazing deal the guy's selling a lot of distortion stuff for uh really cheap so make this one a quick video just figure I'd share this with you guys the Andromeda Resurrection alien mask made by Distortions Unlimited and that's it thanks for watching guys later